One of my favorite programs is Mutt. Uh, it's of course a terminal email client. Very convenient, it's very minimalist, um, but you can do a whole lot, you can make a lot of customization. I actually have three or four different email accounts linked to it. Um, but one of the things that I didn't like by default is that usually you have Mutt looking directly at servers on the internet, which means you have to have an internet connection at all times. Um, and I actually don't have internet at my own house. I'm actually not at my house right now. Um, but I always, you know, I always sort of want the feeling of being able to access my email wherever I am. Uh, so one of the great tools you can use to sort of bridge this gap is offline IMAP. Um, and another tool called uh, MSMTP. Um, so offline IMAP, basically, for those of you who don't know, right, an IMAP server is a server sort of like Gmail or you know most email providers where they keep all of your emails on a server and you can access them from different computers. But offline IMAP, how it works is basically it makes a copy of all those emails on your own machine so you can access them offline. And so that of course is exactly what I wanted. Um, so I got that and there's also MSMTP. This is uh, sort of the same thing for sending mail. Uh, it allows you to send mail from the terminal, which is pretty uh, convenient as well. So I really don't have to be connected to the internet. I can just use these programs, uh, you know, to use manage my email offline. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how, give you sort of config files to start with, and show you how I have mine set up. Uh, it's relatively simple. It took me a long time to actually get this set up. Uh, just because you know there are a bunch of little things but uh, you know I'll make it easy for you I got a couple configs here uh, so once you install those you know they're gonna be in your Linux repositories or whatever once you install those you want to go the two important files are offline IMAP RC and uh, MS uh, MSMTP RC every time I try and say that like it's so I don't know I have to think about every single letter I'm probably still getting it wrong um, but anyway, so how do you change these? How do these work? Uh, so in the offline IMAP I see, let me, let me make this a little bigger. Actually, it looks ugly like that, but whatever. Um, so in here, uh, you have general settings that you can set for all of your different accounts. Um, and then you list all your accounts in the accounts variable thing. So you, let's say you have a Gmail account, you call it Gmail, maybe you have a home account, a work account, and for each of these accounts, offline IMAP is gonna look in the rest of the document for them. Uh, so here I just have a Gmail account, as you can see. Um, and the first thing you do is you list a local repository and a remote repository. Uh, and then you give information for both of them. Uh, so our remote repository, it, it's already set up for Gmail. All you have to do is change your username and change your password. Uh, and then it's gonna be able to log on. Uh, for the local repository, you just tell it it's a mail directory. Um, and then where on your computer you actually want this email to be saved. So I have mine in .mail slash Gmail. Um, so that's pretty much all you have to do um, in terms of settings. Of course, for different kinds of, these are Gmail settings for other kinds of servers, you might have to put in different uh, information. Uh, I might, uh, you know, it's in the documentation, I might include that as well. Uh, but, you know, be sure to explore the documentation anyway. But if you have a Gmail, uh, all you really have to do is replace uh, these. Um, so that's offline IMAP. And once you do that, all you really have to do is run offline IMAP. Actually, I think I haven't, yeah, I have mine running, or did have it running here. So all you have to do is run offline IMAP, and it's gonna look at your mail directories online, and it's gonna start syncing them to your computer, which might take forever uh, if you have, you know, a whole lot of email. For, for me, it doesn't take too long. And once, of, the first time, it has to download everything, but later on, it just checks to see if there's new email. Um, so go ahead and have that running once you have these settings. And the other thing you want to set up is the MS, MSMTPRC. Uh, lots of uh, letters there. Uh, so this is pretty simple as well. You can give it some, you know, uh, default settings up here. Uh, and then sort of like in the offline IMAP account, you give it some kind of, you know, each of your accounts some kind of name and then you set some, you know, give it whatever information it needs to know about your server, usually just the host and the port, and then your account name and password. And that's pretty much it. Um, so once you've done that, um, you can actually send emails with 
uh, MSMTP by the terminal, uh, but we actually want to use that with MUT. Um, so how do we set, now that we have both of these set up, how do we interface them with MUT? It's pretty simple. Um, let me go to the MUT uh, example in here. Uh, yeah, in Gmail or C. Okay, so here, um, normally when you set up MUT, you have MUT looking at IMAP servers. But we want MUT to look at the mail directory on our computer. So that's why we say the inbox type is mail dear. Uh, and the folder is the same folder that we set in the offline IMAP RC. Um, and our send mail command is not something, you know, it's not an action on the server. It's actually this, uh, you know, the MSMTP command. Uh, with the setting Gmail because Gmail is the account we want to use. Um, other than that, you pretty much just put your uh, username and password. You can use these settings and they're going to work on Gmail. They only need a little bit of tinkering for any other uh, email client. And that's pretty much it. Um, this, again, as I, I might have said, like this sort of took me a long time to sort of perfect. Uh, but once you get that, uh, you have offline email, you can, you know, receive them when you get uh, any kind of internet connection, then you can look and respond to them offline, and then, you know, it, it just works. Um, so the last thing is, um, so whenever you run the offline IMAP command, it will try and sync your, you know, online repository and your mail directory on your, you know, your drive, wherever it is. Um, so you might want to have, I don't have a systematic way of doing this on my computer um, because uh, you might want to like schedule offline IMAP to run at a certain time or at a certain frequency. I just have a looping script that runs it every minute or so, um, which isn't the best way of doing it. There are ways of actually checking the server first. I've just never implemented it. So if you can think of a better way to do it or if you find something better uh, than doing what I have and having it run in Tmux, uh, you know, in the background, feel free to share it. But um, yeah, so this is a great way to get your email, you know, really have control of your email. Uh, so I'll put the links to the configs in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you learned something. Hope you can uh, go a little further with it. So thanks for watching.